What's up, YouTube? This the fam here, the Keto fam. The determined Keto family. What's up, DK fam? We come back to y'all with another five video, man. We told we gonna keep them coming. As long as y'all continue to wanna continue on this journey with us, we're gonna continue to enlighten y'all on how we eating, trying to keep it fascinating at the same time and keep, keep you away from the eggs and bacon because it's just way more than that. Don't get me wrong, I love my eggs and bacon, but it's just a lot more than that. And as of today, we're going to be cooking on chicken fried steak, yeah, with the gravy. So y'all want to see this whole thing. Please continue to watch the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the channel. All the content we like, you know, hit that notification bell. But enough is enough. You know how I always do. I always lay out my ingredients first and let you know what the ingredients I got. And the macro is going to be down below. So we went to the store and we got some Cuban steak. So you can get regular steak and you can tenderize the way you want to. So I already got it. It's just cube steak. It's already tenderized and everything. And for the ingredients, it's going to be two and a half ounces of almond flour, two ounces of grated cheese, Parmesan cheese, and an ounce and a half of pork rinds. And you know you got to, um, you know, Blend all that stuff together. So uh, pork rinds and everything is all in there. That's gonna be your base for it. That's gonna be your, your the the flour substitute for this part of the um of the video. So without further ado, we're gonna get started. You make sure you're gonna want to season um your yeah, on um, cube steak on both on both sides. And so we're just gonna keep it simple. Just pick him the lens out. Black pepper. We'll flip them. And you know, you gotta have something to make it stick to. So we also got our egg wash right here beside us. So I don't wanna go too heavy hand. Cause like the parmesan cheese and all that stuff, the cheese itself is always kind of salty to me. Hmm. So, and for the oil, you can use olive oil, or most people doing what I was doing at one point when we cooked bacon, we just kept the fat from it, it had no separate storage. And you know, but today we're using olive oil, but if you got the bacon fat from an old, from bacon you don't cook in the, uh, in the past, it gives it a lot more flavor. So, but today we're using olive oil to, um, to fry. So you want to put a good little, I'll say about three tablespoons in there. And then you're going to go to your egg wash. Get it coated. I can be all princey, and you know, and use the tongs and everything. Nah. <laughs> They say it, it tastes better when you, when you, when you, when you, uh, when you get dirty. Oh so, my god! <laughs> so and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle some. I already had lace on some bread in, in the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is just coat the top like this. Make it easier. Yeah, I'm gonna spread it out. And as y'all see, he's just patting it. They give it a nice even coating all the way around. See, there we go. Hmm. Like so. <laughs> so, let my skeet, my skillet heat up. And when you cook it, you want, don't matter how bad you want to get the urge to flip it, because you got to remember, this is not your typical flour. 
is a flour substitute. So if you flip it too many times, it will, the bread will completely come off. So keep that in mind also. So from what I experienced, I used to cook, when I first laid it here like I'm finna do now, about four minutes on one side. So let that cook four minutes on one side. Once again, four minutes on one side. And once I flip it, I do about three minutes on the other side. So four minutes on one, three minutes on the other? Yep. Okay. And that should be plenty of crisp, but everyone is different, you know? So just for us, that how it works for us. So that means you want it more crispier, let it stay longer, if not. And I will let you know all the ingredients for the gravy mix once I get through doing this portion, I can reset back up and put all the ingredients down. And it's gonna be a pretty key ingredient. I'm using uh, corn starch for the gravy. You also can use the zaffron gum, but to me, the zaffron gum just kind of changes the texture of it. And plus, it's pretty expensive. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. A little small bag. I don't know how many ounces. It's like almost fifteen dollars. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So. If you've been watching the previous videos, like I said, if you're trying to eat healthy, it's just crazy. It's just more expensive. It really is. And we got, we're gonna, uh, I gotta, we're gonna end up doing another video too. I know we do a lot of shopping at Sam's. Y'all have seen before in the other video. A lot of shopping at Sam's. And we understand too that a lot of people don't really have the money to go to Sam's to buy it in bulk as we do. So I'm gonna make it my business go out and we're gonna do a little shopping spree on keto on a budget. So. Be stay tuned for that one. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. But I know how hard it can be sometimes. Just so unfortunate that I got a real good career. And my wife do too. So. So yeah, I said I've been cooking. I ain't been timing or whatever. Like I said, you don't want to flip it too many times. So and you don't want to flip it early either. Yeah. So when you flip it, you know, I guess you can like take a peek at it. I don't let it cook a little bit longer. Man, still had baby to eat good and everything. Why well, don't keto? It changed the whole ball game. It's like he never strayed away. Mm -hmm. Never strayed away. And for uh, we always try to have vegetables when we eat some type of vegetable. So today we're going with uh, cut green beans. You know, as, as the vegetable of choice. So it also go good with mashed potatoes. And I got another recipe. I'm gonna show y'all. Gonna be on another one. It's gonna be cooked twice, mashed potatoes. I mean potatoes. Not really, not really potatoes, but potatoes. Potato -ish. Ish. It's yeah. Totally <laughs> keto friendly. You won't believe it. <laughs> so yeah. So now I'm gonna go ahead on. I'm gonna flip it. Make sure I got this side easy. Mhm. Mm now I'm gonna flip it. Like I said, I'm gonna. Ooh. I'm going to leave it on this side, cook it about three minutes. Let's see, if you would, if you would have flipped it earlier, you know. All these breading would have came off yeah, of it. It would not have been as advertised. Mm -hmm. so. But if you don't like, you like all that other stuff, I mean, <laughs> be all me, get it flipping in there. Flip all you <laughs> want to become a gymnastic. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> But if you just want the bread, you know, just listen and learn, learn you know what I mean? Because, <laughs> trust me, it took a few times for us to, you know, get it right. So, mm -hmm. that's more different. But yeah, I'm going to finish cooking the rest of these. And uh, when I get back to you, I'm going to show you, I'm going to get back at the point of when saw making the gravy for it. Okay, DK fan, we have just finished cooking the Q steaks. They are fried, and I'll throw them in the oven just to keep them warm on warm temperature. And now, it we're going to make the gravy. So, when you get through cooking your, um, your Q steaks or whatever, don't throw away the the, um, the drippings in the pan. You want to keep that. If you don't make regular gravy before, it's the same process. Just a few different alternatives of making it. So... With this one, it's gonna be like a 
sausage gravy or whatever. So you can use any type of little sausage you want to. We get we took some of the little breakfast sausages we had in the fridge and we just pretty much just cut them up real fine. So we we'll use that. So two and a half ounces of sausage, half a cup of um, chicken broth, two teaspoons of cornstarch be very careful this cornstarch that's why most people use the zap and gum as a alternative because one teaspoon yeah one teaspoon is nine grams so it's 18 grams total in there but it all balances out once you add everything goes in here and once again i have all the macros in the link in the description and you're gonna have three quarter cups of cream heavy cream so start off with the sausage it is, okay. It's sausage brown. Real simple process, man. Really simple. A lot of people gonna be like, man, why I ain't thought about this? Hmm. You know? So that's that's another reason I ain't want to put so much extra salt on the um in on, on the, the cube state itself, you know, because I know the sausage Gonna be uh, come already seasoned really mm -hmm. good or whatever. Uh, some, some people on YouTube trip me. I just one woman. I'm not gonna call her name because I want to put on. But man, she is heavy handed. <laughs> <laughs> she is heavy handed. Like I mean, she go to town that seasoning, and she just said that her husband passed away. Well, I'm pretty sure I got a good idea how he left the world. Oh my gosh! I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh, you Stop. know, you, you, I mean, rest his soul, but, um, what the I don't world? know, but, um, uh, you know, 2,300 milligrams, it, it's, um, uh, it's pretty much your daily intake. Sit down with her, you need 10,000, easy. I'm not about to play with you. Stop. <laughs> she, need, she don't need to play with that season. Oh, my like Lord, have mercy. Y'all, hey. this is gorgeous, man. Hey. <laughs> I'm mm. just saying. Hey, mm-mm. Mm. -mm. <laughs> mm. But back what I'm <laughs> Yeah, you gotta be careful, man. <clears throat> Especially with that um sodium intake. Oh yeah. You walk around here find one minute, Nick Nick. We just stop, please. <laughs> but yeah, Jesus. we gonna be letting this on brown. So use I've been had done, but I just wanna show so some people. But yeah, mm -hmm. the cornstarch is gonna be for the thickening process. <laughs> it's it gonna be for the thickening process and everything. Once again, you can use the zapping gun. Zapping gun. It's all up to you. But zapping gun be my last thing because it's, it costs so much. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead on and order some though, or whatever. Because it's kind of hard to find though. You can get on Amazon mm -hmm. or whatever. Like every time we go into food line or something, they gone. It's gone. Yeah, I don't see how. <laughs> mm -hmm. How expensive it is. And if you watch the Q and A video, and we were talking about the ketone strip we're using, well, I, I went ahead on and made an investment. I got the ketone monitor. It was on. It was on sale for about fifty dollars. So we're gonna do a up. Uh, guess like kind of a view on that also where we're gonna actually take our ketone level and share that with you also and a lot of people want to know we're making a video for a while so we got to do a weigh in too mm -hmm. you know, if you watch the q a i told you i i don't use a hop on the scale because the simple fact is i do i let my clothes you know do the talking it'll let me know so I'm sorry, I like to get on the scale. Yeah, a bad so habit of doing it. We got that update coming. Mm-hmm. So, okay. So, I just cook a little bit. The sauce smells good. It does smell good. The cubes, they smelled good. And I got the, um, the vegetables, the green beans. They over here pretty much simmering. And if you don't like green beans, what... I, we do is we add a little lemon pepper to give like a different flavor. So if y'all never thought about that, something you can consider too. Add a little lemon pepper in there. And it a little the black whole. pepper would be great. Hmm? A little black pepper. Yeah, I like the lemon taste. I've been doing it for so long. Mm -hmm. I prefer it now. You and the kids. <laughs> so. All right, so next we're going to add your chicken broth. Like the sound of that. <laughs> Chicken broth. Now, 
gonna be a cream. And ain't no need to add no seasoning whatsoever to this. Because the sausage has a lot of seasoning to it. It tastes great. So, and I'm gonna let this come up to a boil and then I'm gonna add my own cornstarch to it. So. Smells great in here. But after I add the corn starts, I'm gonna let it thicken up. I'll be right back with you with the final result of the gravy. Okay, keto fam, we are back and I have played it. You know, as always, we outdo ourselves each and every time. <laughs> we put our heart and soul in wherever we could. And the whole part of why I, the southern food is just the best food, in mm. my opinion. But yeah, man, this is the final product right here. Those jokers came out golden brown. You know what I mean? I put them in the oven so they got a little extra crisp to it. The gravy mm -hmm. came out awesome. I know you use a fine gravy that got a lot of meat up in like that, but I just want to go above and beyond. So, got to do a taste test. <laughs> got to do a taste test. Man, gravy is on point. Mm. I mean, tender. Can't get no bit in that, man. Mm -hmm. Better your mouth. But once again, if y'all like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to keep sending them out to you. Keep keto eating. And it's fine and that the best and that it's tasty, man. <laughs> I can't say. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's, it's, hey. <laughs> you gotta try for yourself, man. Try for yourself and let us know what you think. Exactly. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. And also share. Mm -hmm. Share to your friends and family. Encourage them to get on keto, man. Exactly. It's a journey. But yeah, for now, you know what it is. Just keep updates. We always update on our page, Facebook, and Instagram on new stuff that comes. So mm -hmm. stop by, check that out, join. Come in like that also. So with that being said, you know what time it is. Yep. Time to go. See you later, DK fam. See ya.